we go. Okay. Hello, everyone. So this is me, Lisi, from the Brazilian Style Academy, and okay. my biggest friend, aesthetic friend, Clark. Clark, 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 which I always twist my tongue to say his name. Clark, Clark is just fine. Clark. Okay. And now uh, we are talking today about his ideas of um, what maybe I should do to look better. Well, uh, we did very few things already, but you know, very tiny things. And one of the things that we keep talking about is really how do we get the neck firmer? You know, is a, is a skincare cream gonna make the neck firmer? No. Um, it may help the texture, but no. Um, exfoliating, retinols, it, it, it can make the appearance a little better, but we're talking about tightening the neck. Few options. Surgery, which I would never recommend. Um, PDO threads, which I definitely will recommend. Botox on the neck doesn't work. Uh, fillers on the neck doesn't work. So the only thing that really works in my opinion is laser skin tightening or PDO threads. Laser skin tightening takes a lot of sessions. Um, there are some laser brands that you can use that doesn't take as much sessions. Is laser the same thing as Sculptra? A uh, laser, a uh, uh, Sculptra is an injectable product very similar to fillers. It's not recommended in the neck. I wouldn't do it in the neck either. But there's cool sculpting, sculpture, there, there are different lasers that can work on the neck. But what I find that works the best is PDO threads. Uh, you know, I call them threads, but they're different types of threads. I, if you recall, there was something called gold threads a few years back, kind of came out of Russia. But you know, this had a lot of complications, a lot of problems. Sometimes the threads would break, then you have to go in and fish for the threads. We don't want that. We want safe treatments that are somewhat reversible if we don't like them. And what I would recommend from my 15 plus years of, of kind of really making New York City a little more beautiful <laughs> is PDO threads. Well, um, we have to remember that I'm an image consultant and as an image consultant, I do have to think about my image uh, unfortunately all the time. So uh, I would say that everyone has to care about their own image, but I do care about mine because I have to look good to help you look good, right? And because of that, uh, my question to him was exactly uh, how we could, with PDO thread, threads, improve the uh, appearance of the skin, and he mentioned the, the, the neck a lot, but also, uh, is it going to work for the, the jawline? So or because I know that can. you can use like for the, the, the yes. cheeks yes. as well. You can use it to tighten the cheeks, tighten the mid face. You can also use it along the jawline. You know, you can, you know, threads can be used for many different things. You know, what separates a good work with threads from a bad job is really the person doing it. The injector who's applying these threads because they're different patterns, there are different techniques you can use to create the change that you're looking for. It's not just you put threads here and something's going to work. So is it not the same thread for anyone? Is it like a different... There are different threads for different skin textures, skin types, skin thickness. Basically depending on what you want, we would choose a thread for. So it's not one size at all. <laughs> Many times we see maybe on YouTube someone using threads for the same threads for the face as for the neck, for the eyebrows, for the lips, you know, it's not the same thread. You know, it, it just like fillers, there are different types of fillers for different issues on the face. There are different types of threads for different areas on the face. Um, and that, is it like, um, because I'm really afraid of um, the kind of results that I might have from it, like am I going to look too different? Uh, is it going to show that I did something? Um, how long after having it can I go to a party or right. can I is it is my husband going to see I've done right. something overnight so if it's done well um, no one should really notice that you did that it should just start to look better over time right over weeks I give it a person about three weeks for the results to really kind of start setting in well in terms of um, what you may notice there's always a possibility of puckering on the skin where you may be catching too close to the surface 
of the skin itself I'm, I'm pulling and this may create kind of a pucker or a little dimple if that goes away it may take some time one of the biggest issues we have with threads is the amount of uh, discomfort you may feel um, afterwards uh, I call it sensitivity so you may feel uh, some tenderness or jolt of electricity or a little sharp piece of pain on the face or the neck sometimes when you turn because it's actually the tip of the thread that's sometimes Ooh. kind of sticking just a little bit but that sensitivity is because the threads are working and how long would i feel that like uh, uh, roughly I, I i between two and four weeks after that you shouldn't really feel anything you know I, so it's not something like botox that you walk out of the practice and you don't feel any, anything else correct you 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 may or may not feel something right away everyone is a little different everyone's a little uh, have different sensitivities. but everyone will feel something afterwards you everyone should feel something afterwards the degree of sensitivity is what will differ some patients tell me they felt nothing other patients tell me they felt a lot so and then it depends on how many threads are used so this have, is a good question right so we have to look at how threads work what what are threads doing we're not kind of sewing the face like our grandmothers showed us years ago um, uh, what we are doing is using a configuration on the thread that creates either a pull or a lift on the skin. So pull would be to the side and lift uppers. Correct, if it's placed the right way. Everything you do has is determined upon the experience of the medical provider doing the job. So there's a lot of medical providers that are just doing really botched work and there are many that are doing really really good work in order to do really good work your provider needs to have certificates on the wall that shows the dates that they're continuing their medical education because there's so much to learn so it's not enough to just see 20 certificates on the wall and they're but all dated they are, yes. 1969 you know this doesn't sure. make any sense you want to see 2010 2015 2018 you want to see recent updating on your practitioners um, work and this is something like course. you as a patient you must do your due diligence and find out who this professional is right don't right? don't just you know every, today everyone is number one right every physician every surgeon is number one everyone yes. is number one unfortunately we know that's not the case in, a few in, are in, number one but, but, <laughs> but no I, I would actually say there's no number one you oh, know, I, I see yeah. there's good and there's better and, and you know but there's no number one and I think there is the number one for you absolutely the, the person who's going to look at your face and talk to you and really understand what you are asking for you're more likely to get a better result with that individual than someone who tells you what you need and just starts jabbing away at your face no listen you can have a horrible uh, physician or PA injecting and 50% of his patients are going to have a great result because these products work really well so 50% of your patients can have a good result whether you're good or not however what I strive for and what most good practitioners strive for is that 90-95% of patients with amazing results because no one ever has 100% results because results depend sure. on many, many variables what we do but also what you do as a patient at home how you take care of the product if you have fillers and you go home and you sleep on your face and kind of really don't take care of your face then your fillers may still be okay but they're not going to be great Back to the threads. Um, when you words. when you insert them, and then that's something very practical to ask. Is this something like I believe that to insert something on our face, you have to actually to poke a hole. Right. So so. And we, I, I believe that just just to conclude right. my question. Um, uh, this is like from image consulting. We learned that lines go up, lines go down. But what we want on the face, especially, is that the lines go up because the upper they go, the you um, young younger you will look so in that case is it something that starts from the top and then you pull them correct so what we do and you know before I even get to that point let me just show you what um, some threads may look like so the different types of threads and uh, wow and threads I can hold for you you know when you have a treatment when you have an aesthetic treatment that's the needle when you have an aesthetic treatment done 
what you need to be cognizant of, what you need to watch for, is that that Botox or that filler or that thread is opened in front of you. So never let them use these that are open. Okay, Correct. these are for demonstration only, not threads, for use. Threads come in packages. So these packages need to be open in front of you. And then in these packages are additional packages that are sterilized. So once something is open, we lose the sterility. It's not as clean as it should be. This is why whenever you're getting fillers done or thread is done, that package needs to be opened in front of you. That shows that the product is still sterile and you're less likely to get an infection from it. Okay, so there are many different types of fillers. Do you see something sure. here? Uh, I see numbers in front. So, like this, 18, so this one says 21. 18 gauge 21. That's the thickness of this thread. And it's a pretty oh. long thread. And that is used to actually create more of a pull upward. So this creates more of a pull upward and it's a nice thick thread, it's for very thick skin. Then we have the 21 gauge three and a half. The 21 gauge three and a half is for more moderate skin, uh, thickness in the skin, and it's still a workhorse, it can still do the pulling itself. Then we have the 27 gauge smooth, and we have the 29 gauge Twist. So these are my favorite four that really does a lot of work. No, but then like uh, if we talk about for instance my my skin which is very thin. Yes. So it's not any of these. We can we have to choose the twist and Correct. sharp. If this skin is very thin, I'm using a smaller uh, diameter thread and a smaller diameter needle because I don't want to create that puckering that you mentioned. Oh yeah. But also I need to get I need thing. I need to get the maximum lift, which means I also need to use not only the right thread but the right quantity of threads to get the lift. So I'm the quantity for. is not the same for everyone? It's not the same for everyone. You know, it's it's you know many times we think that well I just had both on, so it should work. No, it's a concentration. It's the quantity and the dosage that you're getting that gives you the result and the pattern and technique used. Threads are the same thing. It's the quantity, it's the type, and it's the right thread that's going to use to give you your result. There's so much that goes into getting a, a good aesthetic result. It's really not an easy task, and this is why every practitioner needs to have ongoing medical education to educate them uh, to the new products and the best ways to use these products and choosing the right patient for the right product. Well, so this is a lot of learning for us. Uh, I'm going to have my private talk with him so that I actually know what he's going to be doing and maybe I'll be sharing with you in the future. Yeah, absolutely. So PDO threads, um, I, I, they're my favorite because they work really well, but they're also silhouette threads. The, the, there are other types of threads that are also just as good I prefer PDO because it's what I'm used to work with and it's re and the ones I see the most uh, results with. I've had very good reviews of, uh, PDA, of PDO threads, so let's get let's it done. See. Yeah, absolutely. Bye, see you around.